Hi, this is Joe DiMatteo of the Medicine Shop Compounding Wellness Center. I'd like to speak to you for a few minutes about uh, some, some different issues regarding pain. A lot of peripheral pain syndromes that folks have difficult dealing with today. By peripheral pain, I mean pain to your extremities, feet, burning feet syndrome, pins and needles, a lot of different types of discomfort n noted in the extremities, ankles, knees, base of the feet, toes. Unfortunately, a lot of the medications and a lot of the treatments that are utilized have a lot of central nervous system types of side effects, drowsiness, sedation, what we call centrally active types of side effects. Also, in many cases, pain medications or narcotics that are used to help to deal with these pain syndromes. A novel approach to help to deal with these syndromes is to utilize transdermally or topical types of medications that we can deliver in specifically and specially formulated basis that get through to the sites of action, to the nerves, to the peripheral nerves. There's a lot of technical aspects of this to which I really don't want to get into as to why they may and possibly work. The bottom line is many times we will take medications that have nothing to do with pain and utilize them, some of the specific pharmacologic or the activities of these pharmaceuticals that can block certain pain pathways. These pain pathways can also be mediated obviously by the oral medications but then again we raise the risk, we raise the side effect profiles. There are some natural approaches. Just to give you a little bit of background on myself, I'm a pharmacist, board certified in clinical nutrition and a doctor of naturopathy, part of and co-host of the Len and Joe radio broadcast. If you go to our website at mscompounding.com, we also do a blog on that site, mscompounding.com. To tell you a little bit more about this background, we look at things also holistically, naturopathically. There's other reasons that could be an underlying component to why some folks suffer peripheral pain. The most obvious would be syndrome such as that would be more of a medical issue that where you have low back issues from a, a spinal standpoint that can be impinging nerves. Certainly that could be one of the mediators. Number two, uh, diabetes. Diabetes causes what are called AGEs, a damage to um, the peripheral nerves. Distal, far away from the heart, are the most easily affected. Um, so blood sugar elevations with diabetes spinal issues where there's compression to nerves. There are others that are idiopathic, meaning that there are no known cause. We have no idea what the cause and the source of them are. We believe naturopathically that there could be some metabolic disturbances, low B12 status many times. We find that in some folks there is an issue with um, gluten intolerance, heavy metal intoxication. A lot of metals, heavy metals, that are not supposed to be in our bodies can accumulate in nerve and neurologic tissue. These can be uh, a, a, an indicator, a progenitor, a source of this peripheral pain. In some cases you never find out medically or otherwise what the source is. We're back down to square one. How do we treat it? How do you maintain quote unquote functionality? Either the oral medications, which unfortunately in some cases do work but are fraught with side effects. Number two, we can use topical medications, medicaments that we apply in certain combinations depending upon the type of syndrome that can help to alleviate. It's certainly not curative in nature, it is palliative, in other words it is there just to help give you functionality but neither are the oral medications in many times that are prescribed to treat this syndrome. They're not curative either, they're to maintain functionality. For more information go to MS Compounding, C-O-M-P O-U-N-D-I-N-G, mscompounding.com. Go to our blog site as well. We have a lot of information uh, that may help you in this regard as well. Thank you.